The first thing we're going to talk about is some of these terrain features on here. Now we covered those on the map earlier and looked at them to see what they look like on the map, but let's kind of look and see what they look like in a 3D image. First of all, none of this is to scale. This is all just representative of something for you to learn and look at. We're going to talk about different terrain features. Let's look at them now, and let's look at what they look like when you see them on the map. First off, let's just start with the easy ones. Hilltops. Here's a hilltop, here's a hilltop, here's a hilltop. If we were to look at a hilltop on a map, like we've already looked at once, you would see that it's the highest elevation in the area and actually terminates in a circle at the top of the contour lines. Speaking of the contour lines, I've made a very loose attempt here to represent some contour lines on this little mountain range that I've built here. As you can see, like the index or the heavy contour line that marks uh, the 50 meter marks, all the way up to, in this case, 10 meter contour interval up to the 300 index line, which would mean this is 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, terminating in a hilltop at both here and here. But as you can see, this hilltop's a little bit higher, so it has another contour line. Don't make fun of my contour lines. They're not to scale. All right, we also have a saddle right here, two hilltops with some low ground in between. You can look at that right here on your map, perfectly represented. We have a ridge that drops off the edge down this direction. And here's a good example of a ridge on your map, right here. We're gonna move over this way just a little bit and we're gonna look at what's called a cut. Now this cut, in this particular instance, has what looks like a train track running through it. This is actually a man-made cut and can be represented, would be represented on a, num a number of different topographical maps with an image that looks like that. There's not actually any cuts on this particular map. Right beyond that, you can see the fill. This is a build-up area, normally a man-made build-up area, where they've had to go in and add fill to an area that's not part of the natural terrain. Kind of just looks like the opposite of a cut, which, when you think about it, really makes sense. Then we're going to look at the cliff over here, and we're going to get back to this cliff later, but you see it drops off dramatically. Cliffs are represented in two ways on different topographical maps. One, contour lines converging all in one area where clearly it shows immediate relief. And then they also, some of them also have tick marks pointing in a downward direction to show you that there's a steep drop off right there. As we keep moving around, you'll see a depression. A depression is nothing more than a hole in the ground. We had that drawn in on our map a little bit earlier, as you've seen earlier in the uh, presentation. As we continue to move around, water represented by blue. Here we have a lake right here. We have the streams running down out of the mountains, all going into this lake at the bottom. Lakes and water are always represented by blue, just like we have them represented here. And here's an example of what they would look like on the map. Some of the man-made terrain features that we see here are actually railroad tracks. And you can see those railroad tracks right there. This map actually has a set of railroad tracks. They're a little hard to see, but they are here, and they're represented by a black line with hash marks across it, similar to what we have here. Way down here, we have our highway. Now I know, it's not very flat, not very good road construction crew built it. It almost looks like somebody, you know, bled out on the terrain, but it's the best I could do in a hurry with some red paint. So that's gonna be our major highway. And you can see those depicted on the map right here. Some of the other terrain features, a little bit harder to see, is something like a spur and a draw. Those are gonna be part of the mountain range coming down and you can see it's just a little jettison of land there and a little uh, relief in elevation here. And those are both, let me find them up here. Here's a representation of the spur. Here's a representation of the draw right here. This is what you would see on the topographical map. This is what you would see 
if you were out there navigating on the ground. Okay, I think that about does it. We've pretty much covered the primary terrain features that are associated with this 3D sand table that I've built here. We could go on for days with all the other stuff on here, but we'll talk about some of that later as well. <music>